Bye, guys. Hi, Govind. Hi, Vikram. Let's wait for some more people to join in. Am I audible? Uh, can you please uh, show me a thumbs up if I'm audible? Thanks, Anshuman. Thank you. Okay, more people joining in. Hi, Shilpi. Hi, Vicky. Hey, Thomas. Thank you for joining. Hi, Bhargav. Hi, hi everyone. Uh, one minute more, we'll wait for some more people to join in and then we'll start in a couple of minutes. Hi Utkarsh. Hi, Shruti. Okay, I guess uh, I will begin now. Um, today's session is uh, all about uh, the importance of hiring a personal trainer or a fitness trainer i will not limit it or uh, you know uh, restrict it to uh, hiring a personal trainer it could be personal trainer or a fitness trainer so basically the whole idea is um, why is it important for someone to uh, work out under the guidance of a trainer Okay, and when I say work out under a guidance of a trainer, I am very clear here. I'm talking about a qualified and a certified trainer, uh, not a, just a trainer who's become training, you know, trainer with, you know, by exercising in the gym on pure, uh, pure on the basis of experience. Uh, for me, a good trainer has to have um, uh, proper qualifications he should be a certified trainer and also he should have good experience and that's according to me is a holistic trainer who, what that, that's what makes a good trainer according to me a rather a great trainer for that matter um why i chose this topic because um, okay let me introduce myself first uh, so my name is sunita sharma and um, i'm a fitness professional i am a cscs a certified strength and conditioning specialist um, I'm also a certified uh, personal trainer. Um, I'm a certified nutrition coach from Precision Nutrition um, and a master trainer functional training. I also have certain other certification under my belt. Um, like I'm a, I'm a rehab trainer. I am also a posture and alignment specialist from Rehab mm -hmm. Yoga. And um, I, I was also a Zumba trainer, uh, although I don't uh, practice Zumba a lot. But uh, I have... Um, this habit of learning new forms of fitness and uh, uh, purely because of that uh, reason I keep uh, you know picking up uh, uh, new certifications um, every year and uh, try to learn or try to add something uh, uh, extra into my expertise. 
Um, I have been into uh, fitness for past 25 years now. Uh, I have been working out regularly. I have been lifting weights. And um, my uh, fitness journey uh, would be, you know, uh, it, it actually started many years back when I used to be in college. I just passed out my uh, college and my first job was of a fitness trainer. Um, that was back in 1998, I'm talking about. And... Um, I, I was an aerobics trainer at that point of time and uh, uh, we were trained by um, one of the celebrity trainers uh, by the name of uh, Lena Mogri at that time. Um, in between, I took up a job in the corporate, you know, um, uh, spent many years in corporate, got married, had two children. Um, I have a daughter who's 13 years old and a son who's 10 years old now. Um, so, you know, um, what brought me back to fitness and, um, uh, you know, made me um, pick up fitness as my career again was uh, purely my weight gain that happened post both my pregnancies. And that uh, probably pushed me to take up uh, my passion for fitness, which has always been there in me. And, uh, you know, it turned uh, so well into uh, picking it up professionally. So, uh, yeah, I have been uh, coaching for past uh, eight, nine years now and uh, I have been training trainers for a couple of years now. Uh, I have my own brand by the name of Femme Fitness. Um, I have a great team of trainers uh, working for the brand and um, uh, that's back in Hyderabad. And uh, most of my trainers uh, today are um, certified by BFY and they are also a certified trainers. So that was my introduction. Um, let me start off with the topic for today. Now, I want this topic to be um, as interactive as possible. So I would uh, want you all to ask me questions relevant to the topic. I would love to address uh, these questions. So any type of questions, be if you're a trainer or you're um, a client, feel free to ask me those questions. Um, let me start off with uh, what exactly a personal trainer or a fitness trainer is, okay? So I'll put it in a very simple language. A personal trainer or a fitness trainer is a person or a fitness professional who is qualified and certified to deliver the kind of training where, you know, you train the clients to change their life uh, lifestyle in a healthy manner. And... Um, these are the people who uh, basically, uh, you know, will help you prevent a particular, uh, uh, you know, disease or prevent a particular um, uh, any uh, kind of uh, illness that you can encounter because uh, of not moving around uh, enough or not uh, exercising enough. So um, put in, uh, you know, in simple language, maybe yeah, we are not doctors, but probably we are, are the people who can actually prevent uh, something to happen uh, to a client. So um, also uh, a personal trainer um, has a particular knowledge about certain things which a normal trainer or a normal individual might not have. So you may think that, you know, um, you know, there are lots of videos available on YouTube, on Google. You just Google some information and you'll get it in a spur of a second. Uh, I don't deny that. Uh, if you are self-motivated and if you have enough of knowledge about movement, if, if you have knowledge about, you know, uh, physiology of your body, human anatomy or kinesiology, please go ahead and follow those videos and, you know, uh, probably you can reach your desired fitness goals. But here we are talking about people who uh, do not have the knowledge about basic knowledge about body's anatomy, physiology or uh, the biomechanics of your body. Uh, it's a good idea to probably, you know, uh, uh, you can um, hire a trainer or an expert who can provide proper guidance to you, who can actually uh, deliver the results uh, that you have been expecting because what happens is, as a layman, if you start off something, there's always a learning curve to everything, right? So it's going to take some time. You're not going to get results overnight. You're going to do a lot of trial and error, which might take a lot of time. So it's a good idea that you can hand over your health to uh, an expert and let the expert decide for you. So you all you got to tell him was, this is my goal and I need to reach my goal in certain uh, amount of time. Then the expert will tell you whether your goal is realistic, whether you can really achieve that goal in that particular time frame or not, or probably will help you, um, you know, frame such a goal that you can actually, it, it becomes easy for you to 
achieve that okay so um these are people who have knowledge about firstly the human anatomy when we say human anatomy i am talking about the human body they have knowledge about the entire human body what are the muscles in the body which muscle works for which body part uh, what is the movement happens with with much uh, which muscle and things like that and uh, uh, fitness trainers are the people who have knowledge about uh, the movements of uh, you know the different movements that the body performs they also have knowledge about uh, uh, the nutrition uh, nutrition plays a very important role uh, when it comes to uh, you know training your client you also got to know your client's uh, lifestyle what the client eats what the client how the client uh, you know uh, client's recovery is happening is a client consuming enough protein is a client uh, consuming enough fats in the diet so these are uh, some important things that uh, the, the trainer has knowledge about okay which probably a normal person might not have so we see a lot of people you know being confused and they keep uh, uh, asking these questions how do i lose 10 kilos in 3 months or how do i lose my belly fat how do i lose my bat wings or how do i strengthen my core there are umpteen number of questions that keep hovering in their minds and trust me a qualified and a certified personal trainer who has good experience in the fitness industry will have the answers for your questions so please 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 do not restrict yourself just to youtube videos or google or you know instagram videos to uh, you know um, take care of your health probably you can take some seek some kind of guidance from an expert and um, get your journey started another important thing um, that we need to understand is when we start uh, on our own so suppose i'm going to start my fitness journey today and uh, i'm i have selected a couple of videos from youtube and i'm going to start my fitness journey do you even know whether your muscles are ready for that particular workout we don't know right do you know what energy systems that particular workout works on no we don't know right do you know what muscle imbalances do you have in your body no we have no idea right this is the kind of knowledge a certified trainer has why because they study all these things okay they have been studying um in depth about human anatomy physiology kinesiology nutrition they also study about handling special population how to handle clients uh, who have diabetes how to handle clients who have hypertension clients probably who are suffering from arthritis or clients who have cardiovascular diseases okay there are multiple number of things that come into picture here so when you decide to start something on your own you are uh, probably risking uh, your life there if you have if you don't have uh, enough knowledge about these things so either you seek some kind of medical help or you seek you, you, you know you can ask your doctor before starting a particular program uh, if your body is ready or in case you have any medical issue that needs to be uh, addressed or that needs to be taken care of before you start um, exercise regime or you hire a personal trainer okay um it becomes easy your life becomes easy because once you discuss your goals with the personal trainer it's his or her headache to plan your uh, workout routine you really don't have to do anything about it all you got to do is show up that's all you have to do you have to show up every single day and you have to complete the workout routine that has been planned for you okay next thing before you start off uh, any kind of routine generally we trainers this is what we do okay there's something called screening and assessment that we do with each and every client of ours okay especially if it's a personal training client we have to do um, you know we 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 have to know the medical history of the client we have to know the exercise uh, the physical uh, activity uh, history of the client whether the client has been working out in the past or whether the client was a sedentary client who used to do a lot of desk job not working out at all and suddenly doctor ne usko bol diya hai ki aapko to diabetes hai and you need to reduce your weight you need to uh, work on your lifestyle you need to change your lifestyle okay so um, these are the kind of scenarios that we come across and when you do a screening for that particular person you have to ask certain questions to that client there are um, you know different types of forms available where you can uh, you know uh, get the forms filled from the clients and you get a lot of information there of course this information is all confidential with the trainer it's not shared with anybody 
uh, it's purely between the client and the trainer okay so the trainer knows the medical history of the client the trainer knows the exercise history of the client the trainer knows what kind of lifestyle the client has been leading in the past if in case there was any injuries in the past so keeping all these things in mind the trainer will go ahead and design the program okay even before that there's another step that we perform this that's known as assessment okay so a trainer will do static postural assessment and dynamic assessment or the movement screening okay so what they generally do is they will look at you when you stand up when you stand up uh, they will look at you and they can see if there are any kind of muscle imbalances of course it all comes with a lot of experience um if a person is standing and the trainer is uh, trying to do a postural assessment a static postural assessment the trainer should be able to gauge whether you know um, there is a um, uh, pronation happening in the ankle or whether in the in the foot or uh, whether the shoulders are rounded or internally rotated too much and what can that lead to eventually so when you look at a client you should be able to uh, judge whether you know um, i need to add some strengthening exercises for the back or i need to add some strengthening exercises for the uh, extensors of the hip and things like that so you should be able to see whether there's an anterior pelvic tilt or a posterior pelvic tilt and what can i do to fix that before i start the exercise program okay so there's one thing that we strongly believe in believe in is straighten your body before you strengthen it okay you will see a lot of uh, fitness trainers uh, when they start off with personal training or fitness training they'll directly tell the client acha 5 5 kilo ka dumbbell utha lo and start doing bicep curls or shoulder presses and all okay this is not the right way you have to do the screening you have to do the assessments of the client you have to know what the muscle imbalances are in a client and accordingly you have to design the workout routine you cannot load the client with weight unless you have uh, you know done the complete screening of that particular client all it will lead to is injury okay in the end so our muscles are very smart when you start working out the muscle starts uh, you know it's like you know you um, you are doing some work in the computer and you save the file in the computer right it gets saved finally so similarly when we do any kind of movement our muscles can remember those movements okay this is called adaptation our muscles get um, adapted for a particular movement when you do a movement in a wrong manner it gets adapted in that way okay which is very very dangerous hence assessments are very very essential when it comes to personal training um the person the trainer has to ensure that uh, the client has been assessed properly and the client the you know whatever the strengths and weaknesses have been noted down and then he or she should plan the workout routine around that okay next point comes is a lot of people think personal training is expensive or going or hiring any trainer or attending any sessions uh, you know are quite expensive what is not expensive today okay would you like to uh, do doctor's visit or would you like to do vis- uh, multiple visits to the hospital or you uh, rather pay to a trainer who is qualified and who you know uh, who is certified probably to uh, give you a good lifestyle right obviously we would opt for the second one not the first one probably you will save a lot if you opt for the second one and you can save a lot of your money uh, instead of uh, you know um, probably uh, spending that money in the hospitals for uh, various types of diseases or illness or some kind of muscle imbalances okay so here i'm going to discuss one very common issue that we come across and this is a problem with a lot of people in uh, the corporate okay so lot of time on the laptop they spend a lot of time on the laptop that means you ideally so i'll show you from the side ideally this is the way you're supposed to sit and work but you can't sit like this for 9 hours right so dheere dheere what happens is this is what happens okay you try to hunch there's internal rotation your pectoralis become tight these muscles here they tend to become tight 
and this is not just one day right we have been doing this for many years and this has been um, become a routine and our body thinks probably this is the way it should be the muscles think probably this is the way i should be right your hip flexors become tight because you're in a flex position all the time your flex position here your flex position here and what happens is your anterior muscles tend to get tightened or shortened especially your pectoralis and your hip flexors they tend to get tightened okay what happens to the opposite muscle the muscles which are on the opposite side they tend to get lengthened if one muscle gets shortened the opposite muscle gets tends to get lengthened any lengthened muscle is not a strong muscle a uh, lengthened muscle is a weak muscle that means if my pectoralis becomes i mean my chest muscles become tight my back muscles will become weak okay because they are getting lengthened what is happening here there's a lot of muscle imbalance happening over a period of time after many months many years of adapting to the same situation eventually it will lead to further problems okay you must have heard a um, a very common complaint from these people my lower back hurts i've got spondylitis my cervical um Uh, you know uh, muscles feel very uh, stiff always all the time i feel some kind of uh, you know ants rolling in that area and these are all signs that you need to uh, check these are all indications given by your body that boss your what, what you are doing is not right you got to change your lifestyle but we don't listen okay why why because we are more interested in earning money rather than you know um, looking at our health but uh, eventually whatever money you're going to earn you're going to spend on your health because you'll be in the hospital so why get to that level right wouldn't it be a good idea that you start taking care of your health which eventually becomes your wealth right uh, i know that was quite cliche but uh, i had to mention this because we don't understand sometimes and uh, um you know uh, being in this line for many years and uh, very very simple uh, uh, kind of question that we come uh, across and we come uh, across these kind of questions a lot of time okay things like um, when i get up in the morning my back doesn't feel good it feel there's a this kind of soreness in my back and i'm not able to walk when i get up in the morning the moment i try to put my feet on the ground my heel hurts a lot okay boss you need to check how much your weight is you're loaded your knees and your joints with so much of weight on 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 top obviously they will start talking right this is this is a way your um, joints and your muscles are talking that do something about it you have been leading a sedentary life so many years now probably it's time for you to move because movement eventually is what is going to help you okay now the next step is okay i start to i decide okay i'm going to do something about my life and uh, but i'm not going to take any expert help or any guidance here because it's very expensive hiring a personal trainer is very expensive okay so what i'll do is i will start walking from today okay which is a good thing okay i'm not discouraging people from walking you got to move you have to move as much as possible but there are a lot of people who tend to overdo these things okay i am going to walk 5 kilometers today why you have never walked even 1 kilometer in your life you have been living leading a sedentary lifestyle all your life and all of a sudden you get up you wake up in the morning you your eyes are open you you know you face the uh, truth and you say i'm going to uh, start some uh, do uh, start doing something good for my body which is a good thing but why overdo so what happens is this client she goes for a 5 kilometer walks okay she completes a 5 kilometer walk and the next 3 4 days she is lying down doing nothing why my muscles hurt my back hurts my heel hurts and all these things obviously she is going to have soreness 5 kilometers is not a small distance for a person who's never done anything in their life right and what this leads to is demotivation okay this leads to a negative exercise experience with the client okay and which eventually will make the person do nothing the person will say no this is only making uh things worse for me i'm not able to cook i'm not able to walk it's making things worse for me and they start hating it okay eventually and this is what we don't want so when you have someone to guide you the person knows how to start off the person knows how to probably avoid doms doms is something 
um, DOMS is um, known as delayed onset of muscle soreness. It's a scientific term or, or um, term which we use in fitness where uh, you know you do some kind of activity or provide a new stimulus to your muscle and um, you know you, you tend to get this muscle soreness for the next 48 to 72 hours where uh, your activity slows down. So if a trainer is uh, you know qualified and has enough of knowledge about these things he or she will guide you accordingly and probably you know it can he or she will help you avoid these things and they will help you create positive exercise experiences so that you come back okay you will want to do that activity again and not that you know you start hating that particular activity so guys there's, there's no harm in taking um, you know expert guidance or expert advice when it comes to starting a fitness regime similarly um, another uh, very good uh, uh, you know uh, a question that we encounter from a lot of clients they say i want to lose my belly fat Okay, I only want to lose my belly fat. Can I do crunches every day? Okay, the, this, is, uh, this is a very stupid kind of question I feel. Uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, we find it stupid because we know uh, what the fact is. We know that spot reduction is not possible. But uh, how do you um, convince these kind of clients, right? Um, they'll keep doing crunches. They'll keep doing 100, 200, 500, 1000 crunches in a day, but they are not getting any result. Why? you're not getting result because you don't have idea about nutrition you don't have idea about what should go into your stomach when your goal is very specific your goal is specific that you want to get rid of your belly fat probably you're looking for those flat abs right there's lots that goes into getting a flat ab okay there's a lot of workout that you need to do for your entire body to get those flat abs there's a lot that goes into getting that body fat percentage down it does not happen overnight or it just doesn't happen in three months for that matter okay and uh, this is the kind of guidance only an expert can provide you probably you can google a lot of information you can watch a lot of youtube video for that matter where they will show a model with nice flat abs probably the six abs visible and you get very excited and you say you know get motivated and you start off on your fitness journey on your own without having any knowledge about there is something called nutrition that plays a very important role especially when it comes to abs okay so this is the kind of guidance you will get from an expert who has knowledge about in this field okay who has knowledge about nutrition and fitness um, uh, who has knowledge about handling different types of body uh, uh, shapes every person has a different body shape right and who has knowledge about whether the person is in middle age whether the person is a youngster whether the person is very old correct your metabolism tends to drop as you age and if you are, have been uh, leading a sedentary life it's all the more worse for that matter that means it's like one engine jo band ho gayi hai. you're trying to restart that engine after many years it takes some time okay it takes not some for that matter it takes a lot of time and there has to be a systematic plan that you need to follow to get to your results so that's the reason it is important that you hire a personal trainer a um, lot of people find hiring personal trainers expensive but we tend to spend a lot in you know shopping clothes we tend to spend a lot in eating out right can we not spend a little bit on our health okay so when, when, when we are hiring a personal trainer, he is not the one who is going to gain. You are the one who is going to gain out of it. So please, you know, shell out some money and try to lose some money to gain your health for that matter. So um, this is my take on personal trainer. Um, do we have any um, questions here? Let me check if in case we have any questions. Yeah, I'm not able to ah, okay one sec someone says ma'am Hindi mein class ho sakti hai kya okay maybe um, Sandeep next time I will do a session in Hindi uh, I just read your uh, uh, message sorry I didn't read your message earlier um, yeah, absolutely. As a coach, it's important to ensure we understand the postural deviation. That's right, Harsha. Thank you so much for, um, you know, pitching in. 
um, ma'am, what's the difference between other online courses and BFY Sports Fitness? Okay, Punita, um, I would uh, suggest you can either ping me separately, I can share all the details with you or you can ping BFY separately and you'll get all the details. There are there a are lot of, um, um, uh, you know, uh, certifications available on BFY. You can do a lot of courses on BFY and this is, a, this is the best time since you are at home, you don't spend uh, time uh, traveling, um, uh, you don't spend time in traffic and it's the right time for you to learn uh, something new. So, yeah. Um, I want to pursue my career into fitness industry. Should I go for ACE or ACSM? Pranay, um, choice is yours, whether ACE or ACSM. At BFI, we do um, the personal trainer prep course for ACE and ACSM both. So, uh, we will prepare you eventually what exam has to be taken up by you. That's purely your choice. Uh, uh, both of them are gold standard certification, uh, international uh, certification. So, both of them are good for that matter. Um, how can I start up nutrition course? Um, BFI offers us a nutrition course and a sports nutrition course uh, as well. So, you can get in touch with them and uh, they will guide you accordingly. What will be the best workout program for beginners who is weak? Is functional workout or weight training? Okay, maybe you are asking a person who is weak. Weak as in maybe the person has never worked out before. Uh, is that what you are asking Prashant? So, in, in that case, I am assuming probably he is asking that. Yes, uh, it is a good idea. You can start off with some functional movement with that person um, and um, uh, make sure uh, you can start off with some body weight, easy exercises with that person and then start adding uh, light weights. Uh, most important, um, yeah, never work out before. Thanks. Uh, so, most important, this person, with this person, you have to work more on his mobility and, uh, you know, mobility part because as you said, this person has never worked out before. He's absolutely new to work out. So, try to keep it simple, as simple as possible. Uh, try to teach him basic movements like the push movement, the pull movements, the squat and hinge movements like the deadlift, uh, deadlift, deadlift and all. Um, and uh, uh, try to add movements that he performs uh, in his daily life more often. Uh, sitting down on a chair, getting up from a chair, um, uh, stepping up and stepping down. The, these kind of movements maybe you can start off with and slowly you can add weights to these movements. Which is the best course, fitness trainer or personal trainer course? What's the difference? Very good question, Amrit. Um, a personal trainer, a fitness trainer uh, is uh, certified to train uh, group sessions uh, or a personal training as well. A personal trainer is certified in training uh, a client personally, one-on-one uh, -on -one, um, uh, sessions. And uh, there are certain topics which are um, not covered for a fitness trainer's course, but they are covered uh, for a personal trainer's course because um, you are training the client personally and um, uh, there, there are a lot of uh, assessments and screening that are done for a personal trainer's uh, uh, course which are not included in a fitness trainer's course, okay? A fitness trainer would be more like a general trainer, personal trainer will be a personal trainer for that matter. What all do we have to keep in mind during client assessment? Good question, Sabina. Um, for client assessment, um, when you look at the client, you look at the basically the posture, uh, whether you know um, if the ankle, if yes, the client is standing on his foot, whether there is pronation happening on in the foot. Pronation means if the foot is falling inward. Okay, there should be a slight arch when the foot when you stand, right? If the arch is missing again, you can check for flat foot. You can also check for if the knees are caving in uh, uh, or the knees are dropping uh, in. Um, you can check for if there is an anterior pelvic tilt. That means um, uh, some people, you know, they have extra um, uh, lumbar arch uh, uh, because of tight hip flexors and they are not able to maintain that particular posture. Uh, you can also check for rounded shoulders or hunch back. You should check check for hunch back. When you check for hunch back, that means there is some kind of imbalance from anterior posterior part. Um, you can also check for a forward head position, um, uh, this position. So, you know, you if this is the uh, position, then there's something wrong with the um, flexors and extensors of the neck. Um, what was the next question? Once a client reaches his goal 70% and wants to quit training, how to make them understand that the goal isn't complete and make them continue the training? Uh, 
Shruti Sneha. Okay, tell me the reason. Firstly, why the client wants to quit the training. So, as a trainer, you got to know the reason first of all why he's uh, quitting the training halfway. So, just uh, if you can just uh, type the reason, I can go forward with the answer. Uh, fitness trainer for a girl, ma'am, please throw some light. Fit fitness career for a girl, of course, uh, silent power girl. Fitness career for girls is. Uh, you know, uh, I think uh, it, it has opened a lot of avenues for us for that matter, not just, you know, the whole fitness um, fraternity has opened a lot of avenues for us, for us females and girls. Um, uh, I am a girl and I have been in fitness for many years now. Um, it's just that, you know, uh, I probably decided quite late in my life that, you know, I would take it up very seriously as a career. And yeah, it is a full time career for me and it is a full time career for me. Um, yes, it will earn you a lot of money if you have good certifications or good knowledge and good qualifications backing you. Um, uh, a girl, if, I, if your question is whether you can work in a gym, yes. These days, gyms uh, are demanding for a lot of female fitness trainers because a lot of clients are not comfortable with male trainers. So yes, they are uh, demanding a lot of female fitness trainers. Um, next question is... Is it possible to build muscles like in weight training by doing functional workout? Gokul, very good question. Now, if your goal is particularly to build muscle or build size in the muscle, the best way to work is split routine. So you can work your probably your push muscles on one day, pull muscles on one day and the third day you can focus on your core and your lower body and then you can repeat. And one day you can have rest. So if you're looking for particularly for muscle building, um, you can uh, go for split routine. But if you are doing functional training, of course, your muscles will still build because eventually the stimulus is being provided to your muscle along with your cardiorespiratory system. Okay, so yes, there will be muscle building happening in functional training routine as well. But if you are specifically looking for uh, physique building, then bodybuilding, then it's, it's split routine that you need to look at. How much does it cost for precision nutrition course? Um, okay, um, precision nutrition, I think if you register on a pre-sale list, you get some discount. I think I paid around 56,000 or something, can't remember right now. Yes, they are a little expensive, but uh, I found the course pretty uh, good. I have shed a lot of weight, but now unable to make my skin tight in spite of weight training. Please suggest something really a concern about having a proper tone body. Uh, Amrit, uh, I need to know what is the amount of weight that you have lost? What was your earlier weight and how much weight you have lost? Because uh, if you were really overweight and you have lost a lot of weight and you have lost a lot of weight immediately, that is quick, then obviously the skin is going to sag because a quick weight loss happened and you've not got enough time. Uh, probably you've not added enough of strength training routines in your um, uh, regime. Secondly, if the weight was too much and you are reducing there is going to be some kind of loose skin, which is um, nothing but subcutaneous fat. Okay, so there is some uh, going to be some kind of loose skin if you have you are really fat and you have uh, lost a lot of weight. Okay, um, to a certain extent, strengthening does help in tightening, but it's purely because we are building muscles, right? But if there's too much of loose skin. I will not lie to you, but uh, there's nothing much that you can do. It is purely, uh, uh, you know, uh, a surgical process that you have to um, get, uh, probably seek guidance on. Um, okay, how can we stay motivated during fitness and keep ourselves high? This quarantine is hitting us back, correct? Uh, this is Ranjit, right? Uh, Ranjit, I follow you on Instagram and Facebook and um, your workouts and strength and conditioning routines are just amazing. Um, this coming from a trainer like you, I'm quite surprised because uh, when you see, you know, when I see your videos, uh, one gets really motivated, the kind of exercises that you make your uh, athletes perform. So how can we stay motivated? One most important th thing that we need to remember right now, okay? The most important thing is uh, with the coronavirus hitting everywhere, first thing is we need to take care of our health because it's got to do with our health, right? And if you are not healthy, 
probably you are susceptible to um, falling ill fast compared to a person who has been working out okay a person who has been working out regularly a person who has been running cycling doing some kind of cardio respiratory acti activity some kind of weight training probably might be less susceptible to the virus because of immunity and exercise really helps build your immunity it's purely got to do with immunity so even if you are not motivated probably the thought of keeping yourself will uh, fit will keep you motivated because we don't have any option right now we cannot run away from this situation right now but what we can do is just stay positive and uh, include exercise as a part of your routine probably create awareness in amongst a lot of people who have not been doing it make them realize why it is important in such difficult times right now i'm sure um, there's going to be some kind of change that is going to happen um is whey protein good to have with milk or water you can have it with either milk or water there's um, there's no harm in having it milk or water some people they don't like the taste of whey protein in water so they mix it with milk and have it some people they have a goal of uh, weight gain so you know with milk goes your extra calories so hence they have it with milk uh, but otherwise uh, there's no harm in having with milk or water okay joyful how do you see the future of fitness trainers shaping up in the current scenario uh, current scenario as in um, the um, covid thing right uh, i understand uh, you know people uh, who have been uh, employed by gyms or trainers who have been working in working uh, working in the gym employed in the gym and a lot of gym uh, owners have been um, you know they faced uh, faced uh, uh, brunt in this particular situation and a lot of loss uh, in this particular situation but uh, uh for a lot of trainers probably this was uh, a blessing in disguise because um, uh this there the, the, there are so many avenues uh, right now uh, when it comes to online training right uh, one should not stop themselves or from training online so if you have been training in the gym open up and start training online yes it will take some time probably you got to market yourself probably you got to you know reach back to your uh, clients earlier clients and uh, you know remind them that you know you are there for them to help you and guide them um uh, uh, the best way um, to do is this and secondly uh, one more thing that uh, the trainers can do right now is learn there have been lot of workshops and seminars and webinars happening um, in these times and um, they are not very expensive also they are like pretty reasonable every everyone can afford them they are feasible and uh, they are not very lengthy they are like 2 hours 3 hours there's no harm in learning something new learn a new skill um, uh, you know uh, get a new talent learn something new about nutrition learn something new about exercise attend some other trainers webinar attend some other nutritionist webinar you will get to learn something new and there are thousands of webinars going on right now trust me you know i i would love to attend a lot of uh, webinars but uh, uh, with me what happens is i fall short of time so um, but i try to attend as many as possible as much as possible so yeah uh, that's one way you can uh, keep yourself uh, occupied and engaged and you can earn as well i hope i have answered your question harsha meri age 20 hai kya meri height badhegi ma'am please reply kariye prashant pehle to bataiye ki aapki height kitni hai dusra ye bataiye ki aapke parents ki height kya hai because it depends on a lot of factors okay Okay, how to prevent relapse? Relapse uh, of what? Relapse of uh, you know, if you you have been exercising and you stop exercising suddenly, how to come back? Is that what you're asking, Shruti? Please mention. Is it good to work out two times a day, morning and evening? A total of four to five hours. I was eighty-five on May thirty-first, and now seventy-three. Reduced more than ten kilos in a month. Um, Congratulations on your weight loss Gokul but then um, if you are reducing your weight so fast you should be able to maintain that weight as i always say weight loss is easy but weight maintenance is what is challenging okay so um, it's absolutely fine if you can work out uh, two times in a day uh, in fact 5 hours will be too much i would say if you are working out 1 hour in the morning maybe half an hour more in the evening half an hour to 45 minutes uh, maybe you can do your strength routine in the morning and do the uh, cardio in the evening or vice versa that's how you can break it down um 
totally depends on what your goal is because and you also uh, need to take care of as you lose weight fast you tend to lose a lot of muscle mass as well so you need to plan your workout routines accordingly so that you retain your muscle mass and not lose on it plus you also have to take care of your nutrition whether uh, you're consuming enough of uh, protein in your diet because we tend to lose uh, lose a lot of muscle mass uh, in case you need any help you can approach for guidance you can uh, you know um, uh, seek guidance from any of the fitness experts uh, apart from whey protein, what else could be added into diet to build muscle mass? Any suggestions? Weight pro apart from weight protein, if your food gives you enough of protein, first of all, uh, and it's within your calorie requirement, you really don't need to go for supplements or whey protein. Uh, alag se. But uh, if you're working out really hard and um, uh, you're probably working out uh, at a very high intensity and you work out almost all six days a week and uh, uh, you're doing a high intensity workout, then yeah, you it's a good idea to add whey because your protein requirement goes high with the kind of goal that you have and um, a lot of times you are not able to meet that protein requirement with our regular food so you can add whey protein and you can add um, a lot of foods that are probably low in carb but high in protein like chicken breast and or you can look at um, paneer or uh, you can look at boiled egg whites and things like that I have now reduced cardio and gonna concentrate on building muscle mass but the thing is more interested in functional fitness than weight training which is fine Gokul. Uh, this is for everyone for that matter who, as, who aspires to lose weight and they want to lose weight fast. Guys please understand it's, it's a good idea to lose weight but don't lose your muscle mass okay. We need to retain our muscle mass. It's a good idea to lose fat, but not the muscle. So your training has to be designed accordingly. Your training has to, has to be designed in such a way that uh, there is enough of strength training or weight training or resistance training in your routine to take care of your muscle mass. And there is enough of cardio training or maybe a slow steady state cardio, which is meant for fat loss in your uh, routine. So again, in case you are confused and you are doing the wrong way, please seek a professional advice here. Um, you, if you don't want to hire a trainer, you can take a consultation, a consultation session with a trainer and they are ready to guide you. Um, any more questions, please type in quickly. Uh, Shruti had a question here, how to prevent relapse, Shruti, how to come back, right? Once you stop exercising and uh, you, f you know, firstly, what is the reason that you stop exercising? Uh, is it because you fell sick or you had any kind of injury or you were simply demotivated to come back? Because if you had any kind of injury and motivation was not the issue, then nothing can stop you from coming back. But you have to start slow and gradually build it up. Because uh, if it's injury, then there's something called a trophy of muscles that happens where you tend to lose muscle in that particular area. And uh, you need to seek uh, your physiotherapist uh, uh, guidance here. Um, to slowly start after your rehab sessions okay and if it is purely motivation because of motivation you stopped and you didn't feel uh, much motivated and you just uh, stopped training then uh, ask yourself a question first of all the situation that we are in today right now the covid situation what is the hour, uh, need of the hour? The need of the hour is you take care of your health because this has got to do with your health, right? So if you are healthy, if you are fit, you will keep these diseases at bay or away from you. So you got to take a call. I mean, uh, you're the best judge over here. So yeah, you ask yourself that question. Any more questions? Do we have how to measure body composition? Okay, before that, I have one more question here from Shilpi. It is is it dif it is difficult to make a client follow diet? Your comments. I completely agree with you, Shilpi. Uh, so let me add something over here. Uh, being a nutrition coach, um, of course, we coach a lot of clients, and uh, there there have been a lot of studies done on this particular point where uh, the client says. I have been eating right, I have been sleeping well and I have been working out really hard. I make sure I'll eat um, the calories uh, spec specified by you but still I'm not losing weight, okay. It could be either you are uh, under reporting the calories that you're eating or probably you're not sleeping enough and your body's recovery is not happening well or probably you are, um, uh, you know, you have some kind of problem or hormonal issue in your body, which is probably uh, stopping the weight loss from happening. Okay, there could be so many other reasons. When it comes to the reason, 
under reporting of calories a client can under report as many as 1000 calories a day okay and this is a fact this is a proven fact with a lot of studies that have been done a client can under report as many as 1000 calories a day and that's lots okay that is lot of calories that means if you're consuming a diet of 1500 calories and you are under reporting around 800 to 1000 calories and multiply that by seven days multiply that by 30 days how will the weight loss happen it won't happen right so it's a good idea to download my fitness pal which is an app that uh, uh, tracks the number of calories that you consume with the amount of food that you have consumed all you go, got to do is feeding the data in the uh, uh, tracker and it will give you this is the amount of calories that you consume now these apps these trackers are not uh, accurate they are all they will all give you approximate uh, idea not an accurate number so it can vary anything from 10 percent to 25 percent so it's always a good idea that you over report your calories by 100 200 okay how to measure body composition? Uh, Chetan, either you can do a BCA, which is body composition analysis, where you know you get to know through the report, you will get to know the entire details. Uh, what is the uh, fat percentage in your body? What, what is the muscle mass uh, in different body parts uh, in your body? What is your visceral fat? Which is your what is your subcutaneous fat? Uh, the other one is you can probably uh, order a, a body composition machine. Uh, uh, I bought one from Amazon. It's really helpful. Again, these machines don't give you accurate number, but yeah, they can be a good guiding factor for you. So um, uh, that is a, a second uh, way to check your body composition. The third way is to check with the uh, calipers, but you need a lot of practice and uh, you need to uh, learn the skill first and then uh, try it. Do I need a personal trainer who can help me out in a toned body or I can achieve it by normal gym routine? Amrit, if you know how to design your workout routines, please go ahead. But if you know what your goal is and you can discuss the goal with your trainer, the trainer will be in a better position to help you because he or she can design your workout routine accordingly as per your goal. Okay. I am doing ACS and CPT now. Is it a good combination to do a nutrition course with this? Absolutely, Gokul. Uh, nutrition and uh, personal trainer certification are classic combinations. So, you can go ahead with the nutrition certification too. Okay. I guess we are done with most of the questions. Uh, I hope I have not left out any of the questions here. Okay. There is one more question here. I am doing BFI PT course and now I am doing night shift job. So, what will be the best suggestion for me to build career in fitness? Okay, you are doing the BFI PT course. So, the thank you Amrit, glad you liked the session. So, Prashant, if you are doing a BFI PT course, first of all, why are you doing the course? Are you just doing it to gain knowledge or are you doing it to uh, make a career in fitness later? Okay, I guess you are doing it to build a career in fitness. So, I understand you cannot quit your job right now, but uh, what my suggestion would be out of my experience, you need to give one or two hours every single day to study for your course first. Okay, you have to study not just related to the course, but probably there are other things or other reference work that you need to do for the course. So one to two hours every day, you have to figure out how you how you're going to take those hours out. I'm going to be very blunt over here. I'm not going to, you know, uh, be very sweet and say, of course, you can do it. Maybe, you know, you can do it after a few months. No, if you have invested the time and money now, it's now that you can do it. Um, What's your take on plant and whey protein? Okay, plant protein, whey protein, everybody's individual choice. Uh, whey protein is purely from milk, okay? And people who are vegan, who don't eat any animal products will go for plant protein, which is absolutely fine. Um, whey protein is much more faster um, uh, absorbing protein, uh, which is uh, typically taken post-workout because uh, it gets absor absorbed into your system quickly. Uh, so it's known as a fast fast absorbing protein plant protein is also um, uh, decent enough in case you are not a person who would want to have any uh, animal product so yeah uh, they have their own um, uh, importance or they have their own uh, pros and cons for that matter some people uh, they have complained about a lot of flatulence or you know uh, feeling uh, 
uh, uh, you know gas seek uh, um, after having plant protein um, maybe because in plant protein sometimes they have the pea protein or um, they have these um, uh, different kinds of uh, uh, plant protein mixed together and um, they sell it that way so it doesn't uh, uh, you know uh, somehow uh, feel good to some people or it doesn't um, go well with the gut of some people and they don't feel very good after consuming this protein so again it has to be a case to case basis if it suits you well and good if it doesn't suit you probably you have to look for some natural food um, protein options in that case in case you are a vegan Suchi Selvaraj ma'am reply my question Suchi what was your question sorry i missed out on your question um, here yeah prashant so if you have to build the career you have to start studying for it you have to start studying for it um, one hour two hour whatever you can uh, give you're welcome sarika i'm so sorry i missed out on suchi's question i'm not able to find the question here now yes suchi if you can type your question again would be nice all right uh, looks like we've done with most of the questions i hope you all like the session and you all found this session helpful in case uh, um, you all want me to take more sessions on different topics of course related to fitness and nutrition feel free to ping me or feel free to uh, let bfi know and um, uh, suchi i'm not able to see the question here i'm not able to see your question it only says ma'am reply my question and it says i have sent again ma'am but the question is not visible okay suchi what you can do is guys my instagram handle is uh, coach underscore sunita sharma in case you have any doubts re related to today's topic feel free to ping me um, or dm me i will uh, respond to your questions uh thomas shinoy hey everybody you are with one among the best instructors in the industry would be wise to follow her thanks so much you know that's very sweet of you thank you so much um yeah my instagram handle is uh, coach underscore sunita sharma uh, you will find a lot of uh, uh, content on that particular page uh, do um, a uh, follow give me a follow and do share my page in case you feel uh, people can benefit out of it and uh, i am a faculty also with bfi better fitness for you um, i am one of their faculties for their ace prep course uh, so in case you're looking to uh, start a career in fitness uh, as a personal trainer or a fitness trainer go ahead and reach out to bfi you can reach out to me and uh, we are soon planning to start another online batch so our first online batch was a great success which is still going on and um, we're soon planning to start another batch now so thank you everyone i had a great uh, session too uh, thank you very much hope to see you all soon uh, with another topic uh, before i leave um, uh, on 12th of july i am conducting a webinar uh, which is going to be for 1 1 and a half hours maximum it's a webinar on the topic women and weight loss so in case you guys are interested um, please uh, ping me separately and uh, the registration fees is only 300 rupees uh, and uh, the session will be done through zoom so okay thank you so much um, have a great evening everyone and hope to see you all soon thank you